everyone and welcome back to my channel. Let's do it with Casey. Today I have brought you a fun video in which I'll be sharing with you 10 slang words. Slang words are informal words and you should use them with your friends and your family and your closed ones. And they should be avoided in the professional situations and you should never use them in academic exams because your examiner is not going to like them at all. I don't use slang words that much in my day-to-day -day life, but we should have knowledge about them. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started with the lesson. The number one slang word is sick. It is an adjective and its real meaning is unwell. But as a slang, it means awesome or great. For example, this dress is sick. And it's another slang meaning depends upon the context in which you are using this word. In a bad way, it means unpleasant. For example, if a salad is not good to taste, then you may say the salad tastes sick. Moving on to number two, it is iffy. It is an adjective and it means incorrect. Let's understand its usage with an example. If a teacher asks a student, which is the smallest bone in the human body? and the student answers like this, the smallest bone in the human body is the metacarpal, maybe. It is an incorrect answer. And the teacher, if teacher is a friendly teacher, he or she may say, iffy, it is incorrect. The right answer is the stapes, which is one of the ear ossicles. Moving to number three. It is skint. It is an adjective and it means poor. For example, Eric has lost his job and is now skint. He is now poor. Number four is an interesting one. It is couch potato. It is a noun. A couch potato is a person who watches too much television. Are you a couch potato? Do answer this question in the comment section. Moving to number five, hairy. It is an adjective and it means difficult. For example, passing the exams is a bit hairy for the one who has never studied. And it is correct. Moving to number six. It is faff around and it is a verb and it means to waste time. Youngsters keep faffing around on weekends which they can make productive but they don't try to. What can we do, right? We can do nothing. Number seven is screw up. It is a verb and it means to make a mistake. For example, oh, I screwed up by booking the wrong movie tickets. Number eight is white bread. And it is an adjective and it means boring. I know it is quite difficult to believe, but it means so. Let's see its usage in the example. Doing uninteresting things is widespread. I do totally agree with it. Number nine is zit. It is a noun and it means acne or pimple. For example, it is normal to have zits in the teenage years. Don't worry if you have acne or pimple, it is normal to have them. Not a big deal. 
Moving to number 10, and it is the last slang word. It is killer. Killer. It is an adjective and it means exceptional or great. K pop concert is always a killer. Well, let's see what do we have next. It's homework time. Frame two sentences using any of the slang words which you have learned in this lesson and put them down in the comment section. Well, that is it for today's lesson and I hope you would have learned something new and you would have enjoyed watching it. Meet you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye, take care and have a great time ahead. I don't use slang words that much. Anyways, let's begin again from here only.